In Cyberpunk 2077, there are an absolute ton of things to collect. Whether you're looking for weapons, armor, cyberware, or cars, there is a lot of things to be looking for in the world of Cyberpunk 2077. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to get some of the best weapons, cyberware, and cars for free. There are a lot of actually hidden and secret items that can be collected throughout the world, and I've got quite a few locations to share with all of you today to improve your Cyberpunk 2077 experience. Now, I do hope you all enjoy today's episode, and if you have any secrets that you have found in Cyberpunk 2077 or things that you have absolutely loved, feel free to share them with me on Discord and Twitter so I can share them with the world. Now, typically in Cyberpunk 2077, if you want high quality items, you're going to have to spend hundreds of thousands of Euro dollars to acquire them. But in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to get some really amazing items completely free. There are plenty of secret chests around the map that hold legendary and iconic items. And today I'm going to be showing you how to get them and to include one of the best cars in the game completely free. Now the first item we're going to be talking about today is the mono wire. This is a secret legendary uh, cyberware that you can get basically right when you start the game. And it's going to be one of the most powerful weapons that you can get at the beginning of the game. And you can get it right away. All you need to know is the location to get it. It dismembers enemies every time you hit somebody, especially like if I could actually hit the guy. It just tears people apart. It is ridiculous. And it's definitely one of the most recommended weapons that I could recommend you get at the beginning of the game. Now, this is a cyberware, so it will take up your hand slot. But let's go ahead and show you where to get it. If we go to our map, it's going to be inside of Watson. And we're going to need to go right to this road right here. So you come off the highway. You're going to see this little bit that goes into this batch of buildings. That's where we need to go. Now, from here, we need to run all the way straight to the back. Hang a left. And then... This is going to be closed. We need to open that bad boy. And we've got nano wires and, and uh, euro dollars in here. So, 209 to 256 damage. Uh, plus 86 to 105 physical damage. 2.5 attack speed. 20% bleeding chance. Nanowire deals physical damage, deals a high amount of concentrated damage, and can instantly dismember an enemy with one quick attack. That is super cool. Nasty Beast, thank you so much for helping us figure out where that is, you wonderful human. Now, to equip this piece of cyberware, you will need to go to a ripper dock, and it does take up your hand slot. So you're going to have to choose between the mono wire or the mantis blades. But this one does have three mod slots as well, so you can, you can increase the damage or increase various attributes of this particular piece of equipment. Now next up we've got a legendary outer torso coat. Now this will scale with you when you find it, so if you find it later in the game it should have better stats. Uh, and it's also got four mod slots on it. This is all the way down in uh, Santo Domingo, where the 6th Street Gang is. And if you zoom in on the map here, there's going to be a crashed police car. And then inside of the yard, there's going to be legendaries that you can loot off of these dudes here. Uh, so we've got the heavy duty Aramid reinforced badge coat. So it uh, reduces damage from explosives by 5%. Reduces stamina consumption when blocking melee attacks by 10. Reduces stamina consumption when blocking melee attacks by another 10%. And empty clothing mod slot still. Nice. Alright, and then there's another one over here. So this dude's got... Oh, he's got another one, but with different stats on it. Increases carrying capacity by 6. Oh, we've got a, a rare pistol here too. Which is way better than the pistol we have right now. Now next thing we gotta talk about is everyone's favorite, the Mantis Blades. These things are a redonkulous. They do tons of damage. And the best thing about them... You can get these bad boys for free. Yeah, that's right. For free, ladies and gentlemen. Now, these Mantis Blades have some really cool attacks. You can hold the right trigger and lunge at an enemy. And it will do a ton of damage. And then if you attack right after the lunge, you'll, like, 
pick them up with it, which is just ridiculous. And uh, it's just an additional weapon, so it doesn't take up any of your other weapon slots. It will take up your arm slot, uh, but as far as your weapons go, you can still have three other weapons equipped to include these. So it's definitely a really nice addition to have. Yeah, so you're going to need to go to the city center. And then there's going to be an exclamation point right here. So it's basically just off this road. And then all we need to do is just run in. Grab our mantis blades. Ooh, we got some trousers and some euro dollars too. Nice. So now we got to equip the mantis blades. Now, if you go to some shops, you'll be able to find mantis blades that are for sale. Like these here are $15,000. But if we compare them to the legendary mantis blades that we got, the legendary ones are substantially better, especially with the crit chance, crit damage, and bleeding chance. And then we've also got three modification slots on here as well. Uh, so let's go ahead and equip this bad boy. Now what's nice is you can swap these out. So if you install cyberware, you can swap them out with other cyberware and they won't get destroyed, just in case anybody was uh, a little worried about that. Now we gotta unlock a supercar. So to unlock this free supercar, you're going to need to go to the eastern side of Night City, and there's going to be a cave right here. Now, I'm not 100% sure if you need to do the mission with Pan Am first, which is, I believe, called Ghost Town. It's like right at the beginning of the game. But if you pen, put a pen right there, you're going to be able to find the cave right down here. Now, there's a little road that goes to it. And all you got to do is just follow this road back. Now, as I said, you might need to do the Ghost Town mission first. It's like one of the first ones you're going to do uh, once you get into Act 2. We're going to follow this all the way back. And eventually, you're going to find an icon for a car on the side of the road. Oh my god. Just be careful to not crash a bajillion times on your way. So it's going to be after that little area where you fight with Pan Am. But, um, yeah, there's this cargo container right here. It oh, looks like there's a legendary item back there, too. Very nice. But this is going to be the car that you get for free. Super nice. It's a super car. Doesn't get much nicer than that. So we got the thermoactive tear-resistant techie shirt here, too. The fanciest shirt this side of the Mississippi. So just make sure to loot everything. And we'll grab this here. Now all we need to do is just get inside the car, and the vehicle is now acquired. Now once you claim the car, you'll be able to summon it. It's going to be the Caliburn in your list here. Now one of the interesting things about this, since this doesn't actually have a trunk, you can't store your, your weapon stash in it. Most of the other cars have weapon stashes and stuff, so you can open your you can open the back there, but then you can also open your weapon stash by just pressing X. But this one doesn't seem to have a weapon stash. Other than that, it's a pretty darn a good car. Extremely fast and bulletproof, which is great. Now, while we're out in the Badlands, there's going to be one more location that you're going to want to go to to get an iconic weapon. If you put a pin at the end of this road here, this is going to get you started on where we need to go. Uh, and this is actually kind of really interesting. So if you remember, at the end of the prologue, Dex, who betrayed us, also gets his face shot in. Well, lo and behold, Dex's body is still going to be out here after that. And it's right at the end of this road where we crawled out of. And he's going to have an iconic weapon on him that we can loot. Guy got what was coming to him. And then we get to take his weapon, uh, the Plan B Power Pistol. Which, if you like iconic weapons, is going to be one you want to grab. Now, right now, I'm using Lizzie's tech pistol, which is just ridiculously good. You can get that inside of Lizzie's bar when you go talk to Judy. Uh, but the Plan B pistol, it does... It, it shows less DPS, but that's because Lizzie's pistol has a charge attack that does just ridiculously a good amount of damage. Uh, but this one's going to be quite a bit better for just getting plain headshots. But that is all for today's episode. I hope you all enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.